subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shalazari and welcome back to making impossible the channel that teaches you how to make the impossible and be the smartest person in the room in today's video i'm going to be teaching you the roy benson card production technique it's a very visual technique the card produces in thin air in front of the spectator's eyes and within just a blink of an eye so it's very visual and it's also a very powerful card production technique and i hope you'll be enjoying learning this technique because this is not only just a beautiful one to perform but also to watch at the same time so let's start our today's video This week's Instagram feature goes to Sarad Ail. Follow him on Instagram. Link will be given in the video description. I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Okay guys, this is what the card production technique looks like. You can see my hands, they're empty, right? Now watch. One card just appears right in front of your eyes in thin air just in the blink of an eye so that's what the Roy Benson card production technique looks like let's see how you can do this card trick okay guys this is how you're going to do this card trick this card production trick but while practicing this for the first time I would not prefer you to use any proper playing card like this I would prefer uh, using another card which is having the same exact size of that playing card and the same exact quality of the playing card for example these are the playing cards these are the business cards that are actually printed on a playing card and comes along with the bicycle pack of cards so it actually is inside the box and these are the same size as the playing cards you can properly square them up these are the same size of the playing cards right and these are also of the same quality so i'm going to use this instead of using this because i don't want to damage this card while practicing because in this trick you need a lot of bending to do with this card so you might damage the card you might give this card a permanent bend so for that reason for the safety reasons I'm not going to use a proper playing card I'm going to use this card to learn that move so at first to learn uh, this card production technique you need to know how a back palming of card works okay so if you don't know how to back palm a card back palming of a card looks somewhat like this you have the card over here and it looks like that the card has vanished no the card is behind my hand so it looks like uh, my hand is empty but the card is behind my hand so that's what the back palming technique is so at first you need to know how to back palm a card if you don't know how to back palm a card i have a tutorial for it and the link to the tutorial will be given in the description box as well as in the cards so make sure you check that out so you learn the back palm then you come back to this video and then learn the Roy Benson card production technique so after you know how to back palm a playing card like this all you're going to do is you're just going to show this side of the hand the empty side that is the palm of the hand that is empty towards the specter you're not going to turn your hand just like this so that your specter finds out that the card is behind your hand you're going to hold the hand just like that and you're not going to hold it for a long time because this is not actually how a natural hand looks like if you actually keep your hand just like this there will be gaps between your fingers but while you're doing the back palming there will be no gaps between your fingers and it will look like that your hand is an is in an unnatural position so for that reason what you're going to do is you're just going to bring the hand up after back palming the card and immediately come over here with the other hand and start rubbing these two hands so that they think that you're about to do something and you're just rubbing your hands just like this and that's quite natural so you're going to rub your hands just like that and then you're going to show your hands empty by twisting this left hand behind uh, behind which you have the right hand where you have the card back palmed you're just going to twist this left hand upside uh, at by linking this thumb and the index finger you're just going to uh, just pull this hand upwards just like that twist this hand upwards and when you do that you're going to do that for a second and then come back just like that so that they don't see any uh, any part of this playing cards that are peeking through the fingers for example over here if you can see there's a part of the playing card that is peeking uh, through the playing uh, through the gap of my hands uh, gap of my fingers sorry so 
now as you can see this is what I'm saying the card is bending permanently as you can see and I don't want that to happen to any other playing card except for these cards which are not of much use to us for magic tricks so uh, first you need to have it in a back palm position then you're going to rub your hand and then give it a peek just like that and then come back and then again rub your hand and then again give a peek just like that now at the beginning you twisted your hands this side and in the second time you're going to twist your hand in the opposite direction keeping these two edges of your hand uh, aligned with each other so it will be like this and then you're going to be like this and then you're going to rub your hand and then as you're going to produce the card this is what you're going to do so the card is right over here in this position right all you're going to do is you're going to bend your hand and as soon as the card comes at this position now this happens behind the cover of this hand so they're not going to see that you're bending this hand so when you're in this back pump position and as you're bending this hand when this hand comes in this position right behind the cover of this hand all you're doing is you're leaving the card just over here you're making this edge touch this part of your hand okay so as this happens when this edge touches over here you're actually flattening your hand just like that okay you're leaving the card from its position you're leaving the card from its position from these two fingers this finger and this finger and flattening your hand just like that and that uh, when you do that the card actually pops up like in the blink of an eye it happens very fast and since uh, this edge is actually touching over here and you since you straighten out your fingers what happens is the card actually goes right in front pops up right in front and it happens very fast so from an exposed view it should look somewhat like this I'm going to perform the entire thing in exposed view so at first you're going to have this back palm so this is the exposed view you're going to have your hands rub them together show your spectator how your hands looks like as they are empty and then you're going to do the production okay and then as you saw you have to practice this um, very much because this movement sorry I have another card so this movement of fuck <laughs> so this movement of having the card from this position to this position is going to require a lot of practice because this card the coming up of the card the popping up of the card should happen very fast like the card is actually popping up right in front of the eyes in thin air just like that it should not be very slow like this okay the spectator will actually understand that you are producing a card from the back palm so for that reason while you have to practice it you have to make sure that this movement is very very good of yours so when you're doing it in real life you're actually producing the card pretty fast in front of the spectator so it should look somewhat like that and that's what the that's how the Roy Benson card production happens that's how you execute it and that's it for the tutorial now if you want to use this in a card trick you have to just control the card to the top of the deck then while you give the cards to the spectator you have to just palm the card palm the spectator's card in your hand then drop this hand which is in which you're going to back palm the card you're going to drop that hand by the side of your body and take that side of your body away from the spectator and talk casually to them and while your hand is dropped by the side of your body what you're going to do is from the palming you have to just back palm the card just like that and then you can just bring up your hand and then rub your hand and do the card production just like that so that's how the card production technique looks like that's how it's done and that's it for the tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well as RE. Also, if you have any questions, you can use the comment section for that. And don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, which is a pretty savage channel. I post entertaining videos and gameplays over there. And the link to the channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet. And turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future Smack That Monday episodes. Peace!